Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Lex Luthor, Man of Steel, or Luthor as it was later retitled. Now, this is a graphic novel written by Brian Esarello and illustrated by Lee Bermejo and published by DC Comics, and this features the characters of Lex Luthor and Superman, who were originally created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. Now, this was first published as a five issue comic book series in 2005, and then later on all five issues were collected into one graphic novel or trade paperback. Now, Brian Esarello and Lee Bermejo would later go on to do the graphic novel Joker and its spiritual sequel, Batman Damned. Now, Lex Luthor, Man of Steel, is set more or less outside of continuity, and it's a character study on the character of Lex Luthor, who is arguably Superman's greatest antagonist. But the whole book really is told from Lex Luthor's perspective to a point where he really is the protagonist of this graphic novel, and in a lot of ways, Superman is the antagonist. But even though this is a slightly more sympathetic portrait of Lex Luthor, he's still an egomaniac, and he still does some pretty evil things in this book, but you get the idea that, at least from his perspective, he thinks he's doing it for the greater good. But the plot of the graphic novel is it follows Lex Luthor, who is a scientist and a businessman, and he tries to portray himself as this humanitarian, and his ultimate goal is to see humanity reach its highest potential, but for a while now, his city, Metropolis, has had a guardian, an alien being known as Superman, and he can't understand why people are putting so much trust in this being, why they're treating Superman as a hero and a savior when all they have is his word that he's not going to all of a sudden turn on us. And he sees Superman not just as an existential threat to humanity, but also as a threat to human growth and human progress. And at a certain point, Lex Luthor, with the help of another scientist, ends up creating this cybernetic superwoman, who he calls Hope, who he makes sort of a new hero of Metropolis, but a hero that he could control. And Luthor ultimately wants to get people to turn on Superman, to get people to lose their trust in Superman, but he's willing to go to some pretty despicable lengths to do so, even sacrificing people that he loves. But yeah, Lex Luthor, Man of Steel, or Luthor, was a really interesting read, and it's really cool seeing this more human portrait of Lex Luthor, where he's still evil, but because this is more of a... A slightly more realistic portrait of this character, his evil is a little more subtle than you might be used to from other incarnations of the character. And I like how in the comic, you don't see Superman that much, but when he does show up, he's honestly pretty terrifying, but you realize that's how Lex Luthor is seeing him. You also get some interesting implications here where Batman shows up and there's a fight between Superman and Batman and you don't really know why they're fighting but you get the idea that this is something that Lex Luthor orchestrated and you also get this subtle hint, it's not really gone into that much, but you get a subtle hint that Lex knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Also, the character of Toy Man, who's a pretty well-known Superman villain, shows up in this, but in this comic he He's portrayed as a child molester who can make these toys with artificial intelligence, and Lex Luthor sets him up and screws him over pretty badly, and again, it shows just how ruthless Lex Luthor is. But for me, the most interesting aspect of this story was the character of Hope. Now, you don't really get a lot of character development with her, but there is something kind of sad and tragic about her, and... The book also gets into some weird psychosexual stuff with her, where you realize that Lex Luthor is starting to fall in love with her, and they do end up fucking in the story. But what's weird about that is Luthor also created her, so in a way, she's also kind of his surrogate daughter. Also, Leeper Mayho's artwork in this is fantastic. I'm honestly a pretty big Leeper Mayho fan. But yeah, that was my review on Lex Luthor, Man of Steel, or Luthor, and bye.